is it going boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. I am in neutral, let it rip. it going boys and girls welcome back to Key West Waterman one second make sure we're clear here my name is Aaron Young if you watch YouTube you know who those two are I've got Blue Gabe and Kelly out today we've been just making some trying to make some footage happen and we had a little bit of yellowtail this morning, caught some monster yellowtail. Should be a super cool episode um, that Gabe filmed. And we're sitting here drifting for Wahoo now, just kind of giving it a stab. The conditions aren't exactly how I want them to be, but they wanted to give it a try, so we are. And I've been drifting um, Bonita chunks in, um, I've been drifting Bonita, sorry, they're hollering, making sure they're good. I've been drifting Bonita chunks back. Um, on this little jig and I've caught three muttons so far and I got to thinking why the heck am I not filming so this is all I'm doing I've got 20 feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon this is a 16th ounce um, what I call a boxing glove jig my buddy Neil ties these uh, I'm drifting them back with Bonita chunks so I'm gonna film a couple drops and see if we can get one to bite here Nothing crazy, just a chunk of bonita and a jig head. And I'm drifting it down real slow. I've been marking them on the bottom. I'm in about 100, and, 100 to 110 feet. I've been marking them like crazy, so. I was trying to catch another yellowtail. We've got some really big ones this morning, but I keep catching buttons, so. Line took off. Again, just letting that sink real slow. It takes a while, but you want that natural drift. You don't want to stop it. You want to let that line keep going until you can tell something actually ate it and is running out. Typically, the bite with these muttons when you're fishing this way is kind of like yellowtail, and the, the line's just going to start peeling out. Speak too soon. There you go. Just started peeling out real fast. You just close the bale. Kind of sets the hook himself. This might be a decent one. Yellowtail. Eh, I don't know. If it's a yellowtail, it's a big one. <laughs> Look at this. I've caught three muttons in a row. So I try to show you a mutton and I catch a yellowtail and a giant one. Look at that. That's about what we've been catching all morning. You'll see an episode on Gabe's channel, Blue Gabe, if you haven't heard of him. Um, we caught a bunch of these this morning. That is too funny. That's what I get for trying to catch a mud. Nothing too crazy, just trying to hide that hook as best I can. Hopefully you can hear me with the wind. Let it sink. So 
because the wind is so bad, I'm having to drive the boat to kind of keep, kind of keep myself up and down on my line. Um, you can go to a bigger jig head, but when the water's clear like this, the muttons tend to get a little pickier, I find. Um, so I'm trying to stay up and down as best I can on top of my line. But truthfully, I've caught them on bigger jigs and clean water. pretty deep but it's taking a while to get down there so um, I think typically I'm probably just ballparking it I've been hooking them around 80 90 feet pretty close to the bottom He thumped it, so I paused it just for a second. It came back and just smacked it. Trying to keep an eye on Gabe and Kelly. They both just dove. Woo! Got some boogie on it. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Now I can't catch. A mutton to save my life, but man, will I take that. Look at the size of this yellowtail. <laughs> Gabe got him a yellowtail too. Look at the size of this. That is what we call a flag. Goodness. All right, this is the mutton. I can feel it. I can feel it deep in my bones. Pretty breezy out here today, to be honest with you. Huh? No way. There he is. Oh, I missed him twice. So if I miss a bite, a lot of times I'll open it back up because I know I'm in the area where the fish is. May have screwed my bait up enough for him not to eat it again, but. Give it just another second, see if I can get lucky. This is a video on how to accidentally catch giant yellowtails. I think that's the smallest I've caught so far. Too funny. I caught three muttons in a row, figured, hey, I'll do some filming. I catch some giant yellowtails, but I've got plenty for dinner on my end. Gabe and Kelly are still in the water. If you're interested in seeing what kind of went on throughout the rest of the day, go over to their channels, Kelly Young or Blue Gabe, type, type it in the search bar see what we did for the rest of the day. I've got yellowtail snapper for dinner. So I will see you later. I am back at the house. I'm gonna get some of these giant yellowtails filleted up. They were supposed to be muttons, but that's all right, that's fishing. Sometimes things change. Um, and I wanted to say something real quick. When I'm showing some of this fishing stuff, I repeat this in a lot of my episodes there's not 
one right way to do something. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean it's the right way. And it doesn't even mean it's gonna work every time. I could go back out there tomorrow and the, the fish may eat completely different. Um, maybe a different rig, different leader, different size jig. Um, that's just the reality of fishing. So I'm just showing you what worked that day. And I wanna show you real quick, just so it does a little bit of justice, how big some of these yellowtails we were catching were. Um, the camera may not do justice from time to time. This is about the average size we were catching, and you can see, I'm on zero here. <clears throat> Those are 23 inch yellowtails. Absolute monsters. So, anyways, long story short, I'm gonna flay these up. And I was gonna try and do something fancy. I feel like I'm being kind of crappy with the camera here, but I was gonna try and do something fancy, but I got to thinking, we ended up catching a couple porgies as well. And if you know me, you know how much I love porgies. So I wanted to make, I wanted to make Madeline do a blind taste test with a porgy and a yellowtail and show you guys why I love porgies so much and maybe prove myself wrong or right. So I'm gonna get these flayed up and I'll see you in the kitchen. Snippery. So I wanted to show you real quick, kind of a side-by-side -side comparison, just visually, before I cook these. Um, I've got my yellowtail and my porgy. In my opinion, they're about the same texture. I think yellowtail may be a smidge softer, um, but they're pretty darn close. We're talking a very close comparison. The, the most noticeable difference is, you'll see the yellowtail has a lot more bloodline, but I'm gonna cook a couple pieces inconspicuously for Madeline. And she's gonna be my blind taste tester. And I'm, I'm kind of honestly curious about this because yellowtail to me, love yellowtail, it's delicious. It is a little on the soft side, um, depending on what you're doing with it. Meaning it's not mushy, it just, it, it falls apart uh, fairly easily. And um, I think porgy is similar. I just am a bigger fan of porgy personally. So I'm in interested to see the results. So I will see you guys upstairs. I look like poop. You look like poop? Well, you're going live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in the kitchen. So Madeline doesn't even know what these are. She doesn't even know what these cuts of fish are. She was not on the trip. Those are so fish. She, she's gonna be an authentic blind taste tester. I know which is which. And all I'm gonna do is salt, pepper, or all I did already, salt, pepper, and a little bit of blackening, just so I'm not over seasoning this and she can get a, a real flavor for it. Olive oil, and that is about it. So I'm gonna sear these. 
in the cast iron. Ooh. Um, oh, and also I want to say big thanks to Blue Gabe and Kelly Young for coming down. We had a spectacular trip. Fishing is not always great. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. We had some of the best fishing I've had in a very long time. Nonstop, just absolutely whacked the fish. So if you want to see what went on the rest of the day, go over to their channels, check it out. Um, Kelly Young or Blue Gabe. Let's see what we did. We had a good time. And Will's back in town, cooking the with clams. The clam is back. The clam is back. <laughs> he made some appetizers for us while we're waiting. This is Ciro mackerel. Why don't you tell me what it is, Will? Ciro mackerel, lemon, apple, sumac, and red chili. And crunchy salt. And it is to die for. <laughs> All right, baby, you ready? Oh, did you hear that sound? Are you fascinated? <laughs> Never mind. All right, it's the moment of truth. Hold on, so am I trying to find like the difference? You're not trying to find, you're trying to tell me which one tastes like better all around. Flavor, texture. <laughs> Will, if you want to get in there too, you don't know which one's which. Whoa, 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 whoa. They look almost identical. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hold on, where's this? Are you checking if it's cooked properly? No, I'm just checking. Oh, whoops. I like to mess up everything before I eat it. Make it nice and... I already know which one's which. Can you tell? Yeah. Jerk! Hold on! I don't know what they are. Can she I doesn't know what they, they are. are? No, eat them. Well, one's gotta be yellowtail because you caught like 50 of them. Okay. Context clues, good job. <laughs> Take your time. I'm being serious. Like, I want, I want an honest review here. Oh. Okay, hold on. That one's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna eat this one. Can I have more of this one, please? <laughs> okay. I like being watched. <laughs> You're not being watched. Don't put the camera on me. <laughs> I just want honest reactions. Oh, hot. Mm. It's warm. I. No, I know. Do you? Yeah. Well, once she says her answer, I'll say my answer without even tasting them and see if I'm right. And I'll tell you why I came to my I'm answer. trying to see, like, as far as looks go, because they taste the same. They taste the same? This one feels a little softer. Um, but, ooh. This one. You're not guessing. You're telling me which one you like more. Well, I like both. Um, I Taste that one Popping. again. <laughs> I'm just saying, taste it again. You're just you. You seem very undecided here. Mm -mm. I like this one more because it's firm, more firm. Really? Medium firm. <laughs> Medium firm. Okay. <laughs> no, wow. I actually like this one. Um, the well, flavor is the same. The flavor is the same. Yeah. This, this one's more firm. This one's more firm. This okay. one is just. This one's. This one isn't bad. It's just a little softer. bit softer. Okay. Will, do you have a guess, or do you want to try them? Hold on, do you know what these are? Like what so I are? know what the two fish are, oh, okay. but I don't know which one's which. But if I had to guess, I'm going to say that this is the yellowtail. It's not. Really. This is the porgy. But could it be because of... No. That's so weird because when she dug her fork into it, it was visibly... Softer? Softer. So the porgy is softer. But you like it because it's firm. But the taste is exactly the same. Yeah, taste okay. is the same. Wow. That's good to know. So, I'm a, as I've said in the past, I'm a huge fan of porgy. I would take a porgy over a yellowtail. Let me taste it side by I side. No, the flavor's there. I think this I is just... going to be a really long eating segment. Sorry. <laughs> but that one seems so much softer. Like, look, when you break that off, that yeah, that's not typical yellowtail. Well, it was a because five pound so yellowtail. Yeah. yeah. So usually when you catch them. 12 inches or so the texture is more my like point that. being this? they're pretty much they're pretty much spot on yes i would put this in a taco and i put this on grits i feel like that's more firm anyways <laughs> they're da they're darn near close to the same yellowtail is one of the token <laughs> fish on the menu in Key west don't overlook porgies as always thanks so much for your time like if you have not already and we will see you on the next one Babe, I just did that. What? <laughs> I didn't.
Peace. I wasn't looking. <laughs>